Hey, how you doing? This is John and welcome to John's Long Box. Today I'm doing another What You are Reading. This is my last day before work and I got a lot of stuff read. I'm uh, nervously anticipating my uh, campaign approval on Fund My Comic and then it's off to the races. So let's look at this. This I got two copies of these because I overzealously bought another one. This is Grant Morrison doing what Grant Morrison does. Just high concept insanity. I really like this issue I particularly liked. Um, this this issue was was pretty good, and then there was one of them. It, it'll I think it's in here. I, I didn't like it at all. Okay, I've been re rereading Wolf and Batsy for my a bit of Wolf and Batsy series. I have to finish up that, but these are just gorgeous. Just, just any any chance I can to show this off. This life during wartime. I'm a little annoyed because I reread all of uh, books of magic, and then I went right to uh, life during wartime books of magic life during wartime forgetting that this was the last series so i skipped names of magic and hunter books of magic so but it's it's all right like i said i would have liked it if it was called like you know phil moskowitz magical kid because it's it's not the tim hunter i didn't like the tim hunter character because he was such a wuss now this one is not only is he a wuss but he's just like like devious like he, he's like john constantine teen like sex drugs rock and roll you know this was ter terrible this was absolutely terrible. Quorum, uh, I can't believe I forgot one of the issues. So I read this. I uh, I, I got to reread the series, but I just read it, whatever. This I actually enjoyed a lot. Uh, they, they solicited a third issue, but it never came out. Too bad. I, I don't remember reading the first issue, but this was very enjoyable. Uh, here we go. I was missing this issue of Firepower. And I didn't want to buy it until I confirmed because I'm, you know, recataloging the comics and sometimes things are in a, in a different order. So I, I bought this and I was able to read the rest of the firepower and it ended on a bang. How's that for an unintended pun? But it, it, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Robert Kirkman seems to uh, do something really good. He has a begin, beginning, a middle and an end of his comics. So some of them, like Invincible, will last like 150 issues or so. Walking Dead, I think, was 129. This one lasted 30 issues. It was good. It was good. I'm, you know, a, a Robert Kirkman fanboy. So anything he makes, I, 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 uh, I pick up. I give it a try. Okay, this was Marvel Superhero Secret Wars Battle World. It was a four-issue Shaggy Dog story inserted in the middle. Of, of a panel of issue six. So you knew nothing was going to happen. And that's exactly what it is. But it's, it's nostalgia bury the comic. You know, if, if you like the old, uh, you know, 80s style Marvel, you'll, you'll like it, but nothing happens. This is perfect 10. And this is excellent. Excellent comic. Uh, genuine comics, Dave Brink. He's been on my channel. I did a video about this. I, I can't rave enough. This is excellent. Excellent comic. Uh, I, I, I this this is how you crowdfund a comic, guys. This this is it. You know, Grant Nolan and, and, and Dave Brink. These are the two guys who, who crowdfund comics. The best. I'm, I'm annoyed that this is issue number two, so I went and ordered issue number one. I did a video on this. I'll probably be releasing it tomorrow. So I'll save my thoughts so you can watch the videos. This is Elemental Sex Special number four. A comic that I've been looking for for 30 years. I'm an Elementals fanboy. Um, these sex pestles, I, I don't understand what was going on at the time, but all these comics were making these like, uh, this is R-rated. I'm not going to say it was it was uh, X-rated. You know, they didn't really show full-on porn, but it was, it was boobies. You know, it was R-rated. And it was very uh, shocking at the time. I, I did this for Sunday Comics, so I got to put this away. Cerberus number one. The art in these are so phenomenal. The art in this is so good. Uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I picked these up. I, I was really looking forward to I liked issue one to three, and I just never saw issue number four. And I, I, I had to get it. You know, it took me a while. I guess I forgot about it. I lost track of my comics. And then I got number five, and then I find out that there's a sixth issue. I'm actually excited because I like when I get to read something. And then this issue, I didn't realize I was missing. And then I was able to read the, re the rest of Captain Midnight. So Captain Midnight, you know, he's a 40s hero brought back into a modern day. They always do that. You know, time travel, you know, some sort of like time temporal loop brought him into the present. 
if instead of instead of me i would have been happier if it was a, a period piece but there you go that's my what you're reading all right i'll see you later with another video bye bye